Almost 9,000 potential threats in the digital arena were recorded by Israel's National Cyber Directorate last year. At CyberTech Global, Israel's largest cyber technology summit, industry experts focused on getting government, industry, investors, and entrepreneurs working together. Information theft, attacks on national infrastructure, and organized crime. Today's cyber threat landscape is rapidly evolving. Each company has segments of the solution. So we decided to join together with other Israeli companies in order to be able to offer our end users an end-to-end -end solution. Number one, we are seeing more and more state and superpower involvement in cyber. Number two, we are seeing a growing trend of cyber crime. Cyber crime is lucrative and we are seeing this also in nation states where the crime ratio is low. We are seeing growing attacks on critical infrastructures. We are seeing more and more attacks that are aimed to steal IP, to steal intellectual properties. We are seeing the proliferation of cyber attack tools. Israel is widely viewed as a leader on the world cyber stage, with roughly 25% of global investments going there. Firms in the country address a wide variety of threats in a number of sectors. Malware, data breaches, even attacks on national infrastructure. The threats are growing more and more complex as the days go by, and cybersecurity experts are racing to keep up and hit what is essentially a moving target. From transportation, where smart and connected vehicles are at risk of infiltration, where groups, terrorist groups, would be trying to intimidate other countries by manipulating the foundations of the economy. You know, and transportation is the foundation of economy in many ways. To making passwords a thing of the past. So what we do is we allow organization to completely get rid of passwords in the workforce uh, environment. Password is a huge hazard both for the users and from a security standpoint. The dangers are vast and one company has found an innovative way to fight back. Cyberbit has created a hyper-realistic simulation platform to train security experts. They're working with governments, banks, airlines and airports, allowing their cyber teams to experience what a real-world attack is like. In reality, the attacks can come from, from anywhere, and the problem is today that uh, the people who are actually managing the cybersecurity operation are not ready, and that's the biggest threat that I'm seeing. A new report by the IVC Research Center showed that there are 436 active cybersecurity firms in the country and that they raised over $6 billion in the past six years alone, a trend that is likely to continue for the foreseeable future. From Tel Aviv, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line.